another video again welcome 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 today I am showing you how I made my basmati white rice like I think it's the best well let me don't say I okay so now I have my olive oil and the pot and of course all I'm gonna do is add some of the salt in there doesn't matter how much just don't make your rice salty you know just let that in there I usually like to preheat like pre-boil some water just to ensure that my rice cook fast and especially if I'm doing many things like I would just put just a few I don't even know how many cups this is you know we Caribbean people we don't do no measurement and then of course you know if you're from Haiti or you know my Haitian people what they say you know you ain't saying nothing so I think my pot oh I think I put a little bit too much oil so that way I don't have to put butter anyway so gotta turn this one off and we're gonna put this in here and it should make the sound yeah. And that's basically it and of course I'm just gonna add some more water and then bring it to a boil I'm gonna taste because I had I, I think I went a little extra with the olive oil I usually would put some butter just before I add the rice but this time I'm not gonna put because I had a little bit too much oil in there this time around so I'm just gonna let this bring this to a boil taste and then I'm gonna show you how I get my rice to be the perfect basmati rice here in the UK okay guys so my water is nice and boiling this is the point well before it usually boil I would usually add my butter so that way the butter is nice and melted and it has like the flavoring in there but like I said before I'm not adding any butter because of the amount of olive oil I had in this time so yeah and of course I pre-wash my rice like you know us caravan people we love to I'm sorry about that earlier my phone is getting so full with videos and photos so yes yeah, so as I was saying you know we love caravan people love to wash our rice of course you know some people are like it's not good because it's taking all the nutrients out there but think about it, you come, you know, wherever the rice comes from, they package it, you don't know all these travel the distance, all these craziness going on to packaging your rice, you don't know what's in it. So me, I always go with what I was taught growing up, wash your rice. So the key for me when I'm putting in my rice, this is so hard doing it, but I don't have any equipment to hold my camera, so I'm holding in one hand, <laughs> putting in the other. So is to try to put your rice in the middle, like really in the middle of the pot. And of course, you know, they say until it is peaking, the tip of the rice is like showing above the water. So that's what I'm doing and I'm just adding it in the middle. I think I'm almost done. Okay. Of course me, I use this. Make it easier for the water to drain instead of having excess water in there. And then it didn't come completely over. So that means it's a little bit too much in there so I am gonna take some water out eventually but I'm just making sure I stir it there's no lumps once I feel like it's enough and that is the amount of stirring that I'm going to do until this food is completely cooked no more spoon is gonna go in there unless when I'm taking out the excess water so I'm just gonna let it boil a bit and then I'm gonna take probably just a few spoons out and that would be it for my white rice. 
Okay, so the rice is all dried up. Oh, look at that. It looks so, like, loose. Look at, what's the term I'm looking for? Pot. <laughs> Y'all know that, right? This would be so delicious with some nice curry chicken, some nice sauce bar, some baked beans, and oh, y'all know the stuff. And then I'm just gonna cover it and put it on very low heat, very low heat, and let that cook for like about 25 to 30 minutes. And that will be my rice, and you guys will see a nice display picture of it completely done all right thank you guys for watching love y'all okay guys so the rice is ready and just look at it what do you think it's just it's like mm. see even at the bottom going at the bottom so nice and hot so you have that with some nice curry chicken some sauce pois oh or you could use that to make some fried rice that would be it i just this is how i love my rice to be like just like this perfect